What's up guys, this is Carter from Better Bolts. Today, in this video, we're gonna go over how to install rotor bolts. So let's go over a quick tool list first. You're gonna need a T25 wrench, um, either a T-handle or just a normal L wrench. Um, either one will do. Then you're going to need some sort of torquing device. So over here, we have this available on our website. This is a Burzman torque wrench. You can set the Newton meters to whatever you would like. Uh, in today's case, we're gonna wanna go to 6.2 Newton meters for this SRAM rotor. Um, next, we have these. These are also torque wrenches. These ones are set to a specific torque and it cannot be changed. So these ones here, this five Newton meters is a little bit light for our rotor bolts, but we wanted to throw these out here as an option in case you wanted to pick up one of those from PrestaCycle. Then you're going to need some sort of Loctite. We have this on our website as well, Vibertite. That's our favorite one because it's oil tolerable, meaning if it mixes with oil, it will still harden up and do its job. And then lastly, you will want some anti-seize. All right. So let's clear off some space and get off into our install. Today we're gonna to be installing these rainbow rotor bolts on this bike. We're wanting to swap over from the, the copper look that we currently have. So let's go ahead and break all of these loose. And we will join you once we have all of these bolts out. Okay, now that we have this rotor off the bike. We're gonna go ahead and install our new rainbow kit. So, few things to be wary of right off the gate. Try not to touch the braking surface here. The oils in your skin uh, will sometimes contaminate it and make your brakes squeal a little bit. So, in this case, since we're not changing the rotor, I'm just gonna put it right back on. Uh, to tell if it's facing out, usually the brakes will have some sort of um, etching or marking on the outside with riding that usually faces out. Um, see the inside here is blank and the outside here has some riding on it. So we're gonna go ahead and line that up. Doesn't matter which six bolts line up. And we're gonna go ahead and get our rotor bolts out of the package. I'm gonna set them over here. So first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna get our Loctite out and I'm gonna put a little dab on the bottom of the bolt. Even that there is probably a little bit much, but that is fine. Then we're gonna just thread this one in here. And then I'm gonna grab another one, do the exact same thing. Again, a little bit much on that one, but it's gonna be okay since this stuff is oil tolerable. Now, what we're gonna wanna do is put a little bit of anti-seize on the backs of these bolt heads. That kind of allows them to achieve a proper torque. So I'm just gonna use this lube tube here and squirt out just a little bit onto the face of the rotor and that'll get smeared out when we tighten down the, the head of the bolt. You can put this on beforehand, however, Sometimes it can be a little bit more messy and anti-seize tends to get everywhere. Now I'm just threading all of these down until they barely touch the top. I'm not tightening them at all. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that on the rest of these bolts and then we will come back for the torquing. Okay, now that I've got them all installed, I'm going to give them all just a little bit more of a tighten, not tightening them very much at all, just tightening them up a little bit so they're snug. I go in a star pattern here. Um, not as important that you do it right now, but it will be important in the next step that you go in a star pattern, and I'll elaborate that a little bit more. Now we're gonna grab out our torque wrench. So again, I'm going to use our Burzman adjustable torque wrench um, available on our website. Everything that we're using here, I'll have links in the description um, for you to find, including the rainbow rotor bolt kit. So we're gonna set this to 6.2 Newton meters um, because that is what is engraved on the outside of our rotor. Uh, most rotors, you will use 6.2. However, it is a good idea to check how much torque your rotor asks for from the manufacturer. 
Now, we're just gonna go in a star pattern, um, giving these all a tight until it clicks. So we're gonna go one click, two. Now that you've gone one across, go back up to the next one, three, four, five, and six. If you'd like, you can go over them again one more time, make sure that they've all reached torque. There are a few keys here. Um, Loctite is absolutely a necessity. If you put on rotor bolts with no Loctite, they will come loose on you again very soon. The anti-seize on the backs of the bolt heads is not necessary, however, it is a very good tip and it does ensure that you get proper torque on all of your rotor bolts. That is it for the install. Uh, thanks for joining us and find us on the next one.